Slay. The action has started to unfold and shot coming into Skaven's favour. Manages to find the flat. Good combo actually doing a lot of damage there. 2 HP for Bez. And he's going to try and find some 25 vials. Good dodge there. Manages to find another. Builds up to 52 and that important Mega is coming up. And he's going to try and take the 100 armor instead. He's done a good job recovering that Bez. Very, very lucky there, Ash. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the 50-50 the split. And um, what normally happens is the guy that takes the Mega rushes quickly and grabs the 50, and then tries to get up to the 100 as well to get a full map up. But there was yep. a 50-50 split, and they both came away with, with something. Yeah, but good good plays from Bears, because he was in a really bad position with that. Only, like, 3 HP at one point. He does have a, all the items. He's picking up the health as well. Wow, good LGs. Like, he's a headshot there. Sensitivities is absolutely crazy fast. How the hell did he aim? Now, Skaven caught in that shield belt, but manages to pick it up. He's low, it's about equal on health. But uh, Mega will be spawning right now. So who's going to get it? Looks like Skaven. Oh. oh, Skaven dodged off of it as well. But there, there, yeah. there, there you see respect for Skaven though, because even though Ray was in a better position, he actually backed away rather than face uh, Skaven at close range. So you let him have that, that mega. True, I don't think don't think he understood the position he was in there, but I think to be honest, he definitely had the better position when that, that dodge back went. He should have just capitalized on yep. it, but unfortunately. Absolutely. Gave it up a little bit too easy. But now it's still pretty even in terms of the health mark, so whoever gets Ooh. long range shots headshot. and that long that long range headshot, you can see the flames coming onto bears, and I think that was another headshot going back onto Skaven. Oh, beautiful <laughs> LG's coming in from Bears from that low ground and he lands oh. another! And he has finally taken the first frag. Beautiful and oh my god, I'm not full screen. Damn myself. So there we go. Beautiful opening up. I mean, that's quite a long time for this map to have a first frag in. Yeah, it is, yeah, definitely. And um, I think that's partly due to the kind of uh, fairly even split we had at the start. And um, it's allowed both players to kind of have a little bit of freedom space without having to charge on, on tonight, right away. Just going through these teleporters as fast as can, trying to find any angle he can. Preemptively shocking. Doesn't manage to find anything. He's on 44 HPs. Waiting for an opportunity to get out. And wow! Good shield gun action there. Same as life there. If that hit, he would have been toast. Still has this one frag lead on such a busy map. If, if Bear was actually more aggressive right now, he, he would be more in the lead because Skaven messed up again now. He tried to dodge from the shock over to the LG50 and he missed the jump, but he was able to go through the teleporter and pick up anyway because Bear backed up again. Bear just seems like he's nervous or he's paying far too much respect to the Skaven so far. And that's got to snap out of him a little bit. Maybe it will. He's got the shock, he's got flak. Well, no, he doesn't actually. Sorry, that was Skaven that just picked that up, my mistake. He's trying to play the patient game, but the problem with that is if you give Skaven like half an inch, he'll, he'll run right over you, so it's a, a fine, fine balance. Yeah, definitely. But looking to get in close with that flat cannon. Finds another angle using the teleporter, finds the 50, switches it up towards the 100 room, and Link coming out as best as he can. I think he's out of flat ammo. Picked up a shock rifle, gets a 25 ball. The hold up to Sarah. Good combo, as you said, his combos are good. And that was a beautiful combo. Ride walling. Oh, yeah. Nice to see the Oh, beautiful shield gun block as well there from Bear. Manages to bounce him up towards the shield gun. This should be a very first game, but Bear's managing to hold on <laughs> for dear life. Indeed. And now Skaven is in a really bad position with only 55 HP. He whacks it up to 80 with those vials. Bear knows it. He wants the aggression and gets that lovely rocket in. Skaven's still in this 50 area. He's just diving five minutes with one frag. This one frag. Oh, it's even actually. Sorry. My mistake. But yeah. one frag either side going towards them. This is just unheard of. Uh, I think both players are showing a little bit of respect. I guess they both are aware, obviously, of you know, each other's skill on this map. So they're just like, kind of tentative, tentatively feeling each other out. And uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely going the better way for a bear at the minute. Yeah, he's holding that control really, really well, just making sure that Skaven is relegated to this 50 room all the time. 
And there we finally have it. Bears capitalizing on the lead. And he does have this control lock down now. But can Skaven get an, a weapon to throw back into the game? And some good movement there. A little bit questionable. Skaven's shown himself across the map. Finds a flat cannon though. That, that will seriously help his aid. Well, one thing I will say is that um, so far we've seen Skaven more or less dominate everyone by, you know, kind of controlling the map for the full 50 minutes and never really being pushed terribly much on, on control, so it's nice to see him out of control and what he can do with that. If he can manage to find the weapons and find the health. Holy and as you crap. See, he has. <laughs> <laughs> just as you said it, he just did it. Two prime, well, secondary flats to the face. Perfectly landed on Bear. Now Bear on a bit of a back foot here as Skaven is going to lock down the control. That yep. is so annoying, right? Landing those two perfect flaks. Well, that, that's one of his strengths, guns. Because generally, one thing I, I, I like to do to players is I take away the hit scan, so I take away the lightning, and I take away the short body fall, and then that forces the players to come in uh, close because you only have like flat or rocket or mini, for example. But with Skaven, if you invite him in close to flat, you're almost asking to be killed. So <laughs> that's what, what I meant mean earlier by he's such a so time for The story is time flat as well. Yep, <laughs> it's time everything. You don't time him. Time him, indeed. Couldn't have said it better. But Bears manages to even it up with that LG kill. But the pressure is on. Ooh. Six HP and Skaven gets the Mega. So Bears is going to be relegated, but he manages to deny the shock. But the flak yeah, comes that's out. Like again. That's like again. And he's going to probably pick up the shield for his troubles. Oh, that's so annoying. Just If only that flak wasn't there, that, that could have been Bear for the control for at least a couple of minutes. But... Now he's going to have to plus back as best as he can. He's relegated to this 50. Picking up the vials. This is where Skaven comes into his own as well. He's, he's really good at uh, closing down areas and, and shutting you out. So this is going to be a kind of testing couple of minutes for, for Bjorn to see what he can come up with. If he can manage to steal some weapons and possibly even grab the 50. It's basically a bow constrictor slowly, slowly squeezing the gap, I guess. He's like a bow constrictor with a uh, bad attitude and lasers for eyes. <laughs> lasers for eyes. <laughs> well, yeah, he's, he's definitely firing out lasers this game. But still alive, holding off really well, even when he doesn't have control. He's, he's surviving incredibly well, really not putting himself in any dodgy positions. And great combo, Gunsmith, yep, great damage up. there. Made it up. Six minutes gone, pretty much. Six minutes <laughs> 40 left. Such a low scoring game for Airwalk. But not because of lack of action, it's more just because both players are kind of keeping their distance and finding the distance really well. Yeah, definitely. They know exactly where to place themselves at all times. This is just positioning learned so well on a map. Absolutely. And um, there's great combos across the map. Like, you just can't focus on him long enough. And Skaven, I'm fairly sure you can keep up with the pace there on those teleporters. And now oh. Mega's up, and Bears steals. That's good. He's got a tiny health lead. He's in front of so he's keeping there. Actually, had to turn his whole body away to dodge that rocket. <laughs> it was just yeah. kind of flew past his face. It's a good thing he did, otherwise he'd be tied up right now. Absolutely. He manages to find the shield. Got the 50 armor bears though, 125 HP. So health-wise, he's looking better. I feel, but it's fairly even right now. Oh, yeah. Yay. Oh, shot going in top. I think it was just splash damage LG though. Yeah. Actually, we're pretty even though. Yep, 50's up and Bear's gonna deny it again. Misses the simple LGs there, both of them. Both standing still for that by the looks of it. I think they're getting south the next item now, they're just trying to kill it there we go. And Puyo managed to come out on top of that thing, grabbing the Mega. Yep, and can he actually get the, the 100? Oh, he can't! Oh, it's not up yet. And he's stealing from us to steal it. Oh, well, I said. He did get the positioning on it. I mean, it's hard to push up to that, that ramp on with UT weapons, let's be honest. Yeah, it definitely is. Definitely is. So that's what, one thing I don't like about this map is that the 100 is quite easy to defend from the, from the bottom like that. Or from the top, yeah. sorry. From an attacker coming from below. Yeah, you can't really shoot any flak up there. You're pretty much locked in, which is kind of a nice position to be in, especially if you've got a shot right for the flak. And oh, Bears gets in behind and decides that, nope, this isn't the fight oh. I want to take. But maybe it is the fight for Skaven. 5 1, well, 5 to 4 now, sorry. And Skaven with 150 armor again, so he's fully in control. This next uh, Mega could possibly decide the, the, the next 2 minutes, I believe. And he managed to get it, so now Bear is completely out of control with. Oh, yeah, now we go. 
That's another very good Skeeter. Yeah, Bears just wanted that, that health at the bottom there, but now I think Bears has to play an aggressive game right about now, even with the lack of armor. Needs to get in close, get some flak in there maybe. I would actually, I would actually keep playing the defense game right now if I was Bear because two minutes, sorry, two frags on Airwalk is like literally five second work if you get the right spawn, so I would be careful and try and get um, stuff in armor before I went rushing in. It doesn't even matter, he's listening to your advice. <laughs> telepathic means because Bear's just hitting off loads of LGs. He's really shortened the gap here in terms of health. In fact, he has that health lead, 55 HP. He's spamming up towards the shot. Skaven now at the shot rifle, going towards 100. But will Bear's find up this guy? He does! And Skaven's out in the open, using these teleports to get out. Flak coming in, but only the slash damage. Skaven relegated to 50. And has to play the slow game, whereas Bear's waiting for the 100. Yep. FD, I think, is going to spawn pretty soon. It's up. Skaven collects it. Ooh, the rocket switch came out a little bit too late there. And good flat damage, though. Spam coming in towards the top and finds some damage there. Can Bear finally capitalize on a kill? Skaven somehow escapes with nothing. He's on 93 HP. He's actually more than I thought he'd be on. And good oh, combo oh. coming from Skaven. Yeah. He switched the pace up. But it's really even 50 health to about 40. And oh, that shield timing just picked up nicely. But Skaven scares off bears with that. LG and barely misses. Oh, yeah, up the He's just way on top now. Oh no, maybe not. 6 HP. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is a definitely a blow for blow game. It's, it's, it's really, really intense, of course. Did, did bears just hit him with a, with a LG headshot? It was two uh, primary shots, and um, basically. Push uh, that lower rocket launcher area, managed to keep him there so he could get the 100 armor for himself. Ooh. I'm quite amazed at how low these players get and managed to stay alive. I say that, and then of course Bears dies. So Steven taking that 3 point lead now. Oh, I know you are. That's, that's a sore one. The conversion frag there. Yeah. The first frag wasn't too bad, but losing the second frag. The problem with the second frag was that. Yeah, Bear managed to get a weapon, but then he got killed straight away, so he's now done 27 seconds to have a weapon, and he needs 4 frags in a minute and a half, so that's... Oh no he doesn't, he oh, just needs the telefrag! Oh, no. oh. Bez has switched this up with a telefrag! One and a half minutes, can he... can he do this up? Can he do it in a minute and a half? He, he can do it, he can do it, if he gets um, good weapons. As you can see, uh, Skaven has a short rifle, which is a great defensive weapon, um, so that, that that's going to help Skaven a lot, but... Here, right here, here we go. He gets another telefrag! Oh he's going for the triple, baby! Will he find another kill here to get to the He's doing some link damage. He's scared of the fight, though. He should be scared of this fight. He should be taking it. I know the health situation looks slightly dire for him, but I think he could have capitalized yeah. on that. I think possibly Skeven has a slight advantage here because of the weapon, but the next hit is going to take it as a Or Andreas gives him a that's good. 52. 30 seconds left. Skaven relegated to 80 HP. 30 seconds left. And Bears is right on top of him. He's chasing him towards the link room. He finds the shot on an LG. He finds the frag. 20, 20 seconds. seconds to find a kill. And he spawned him right below. He finds the LG. This is good stuff for Bears. Can he find the last hit? He seems to spawn. He's dropped below Mega. He's going to try and catch him off the flat. He does it! Ten, Bears surely can the time's up. 10 eight, seconds. 10 eight, seconds. Done. Skaven has found an escape. Two, <laughs> Oh, he's got wow. 80 health overtime for Bear! Wow! Bear taking that amazing clutch shot on the last second! Beautiful stuff! People should be seriously tweeting this stuff out, man. That was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. Everybody knows it. And now he has complete control of the map. Oh no! So Skate did manage to get the 100 armor. It's pretty even, and Bears will get the K. Weapon control seems to be even as well, so skaven has got a shot, he's got 50 now. This is it. This is what you do now, Ash. I mean, this is the, the shitty upload that we all experience with pro gamers. Yeah, this is definitely... Oh, but I was just going to say, this is going to come into whoever gets the first big hit, and actually Skaven got the first big hit with that tumble, so there we go, Skaven got it. You are the match. Wow, but still, the comeback from Bears, the bring back of such only with... What was it four frags in one minute thirty? Yeah, two ten frags. <laughs> Clutch headshot to bring it into overtime, and then Skaven. Yeah, that combo really just really won him the game. That yeah, pushes absolutely. it down. It was kind of even on stack, and and basically it was going to come down to whoever got the first decent uh, bit of damage, as in either like a trap 
from a combo or maybe a headshot or something like that. And uh, as you've seen, Skaven got a really big combo, taking out almost all the bears stack, and that basically decided it for him. Right. Whoever says Unreal Tournament is a slow game hasn't obviously watched any Unreal Tournament, because that yeah. was just action throughout.